The city of Youngstown is planning to close nearly four miles of uninhabited streets on the east side in the next few months and let them go back to nature. 27 First News reporter Molly Reed talked to city leaders to learn how this will happen. Molly. The Sharon Line decommission project was started in 2014. The area is named for a Youngstown Sharon, Pennsylvania streetcar line that ran along Jacobs Road from 1900 to 1939. Now it's become a dumping ground and a habitat for abandoned homes, which is just one of the reasons the city is ready to get rid of it. Abandoned homes covered in trash and used tires dumped on the sides of the road. The 3.9 miles of road in the Sharon Line area the city wants to close down is completely deserted except for trash. We conducted a survey uh, of that part of the city and determined that there were some areas uh, or some streets that really serve no purpose. Bill Davignon with the city says the cost of fixing the streets was out of the question. Closing the roads will relieve the city of police patrols, street repaving, or snow removal. As far as the cost of the project, Bill says it's already in the city's budget. It will mostly cost them time and energy. They will have to tear down nine abandoned homes and clean up all of the dumping grounds. Um, we're going to probably use the city street department to do any demolition that needs to take place. Um, the city street department will put up the guardrail to, to barricade the, the streets. The goal is to let the streets become one with nature again. It's one of the ideas the city had from the Youngstown 2010 plan, which recognized the city's population had significantly declined and there wasn't the infrastructure to maintain all of the land anymore. Making smart choices about where investment needs to take place and where investment maybe should not take place mm -hmm. was the main, is kind of what we're still implementing. It's, it's ongoing. Now it's nearly four miles of se several separate parts of six different streets in the Sharon Line area. For the full list and a map of the streets, go to our website, WKBN.com. In the studio, Molly Reed, WKBN 27 First News.